Hello folks, SAP Dude here, welcome again. How you guys doing? I'm standing over here in the middle of nowhere shooting this video about another S4HANA topic. This time we will focus on SAP S4HANA service. If you have seen my previous video about SAP CS versus SAP S4HANA service, it rings a bell for you, for sure. If not, consider checking it out. As always in my videos, we will start with the business case first. We won't talk about SAP stuff without the context, without requirements, needs from the client. We work smart, right? This place you know really good, Texas Workshop. The folks are dealing with car repairs, but also they spend lots of money for the maintenance of their machines, buildings and stuff. Last year, we helped them with implementation of SAP S4HANA PM EEM. I encourage you to check the whole playlist about SAP PM on the channel. We don't stop. The client is asking for more. The bigger part of the Texas workshop's income is, yeah, serving clients. Repairing vehicles in the workshop, going to clients and helping them there, offering other services like consulting when it comes to vehicle management, etc. Lots of stuff. In business language, it's so called customer service. We offer services to our clients and we are getting paid for it. Like in this case, Longhorn Logistics calls the Texas workshop office. They are the client for over three years. They say one of the cars generates weird noise from the engine bay, BMW E38 to be specific. The office person, Susan, who started like six months ago, noted it down on a piece of paper and asks to bring the vehicle to the workshop. Since everything is on the paper, she cannot even do some pre-checks with the client on the line, like checking past repairs, valid warranty and stuff. Already at this point of time you see, the process does not work well. The client brings the car to the workshop. The service team performs diagnosis, checks and goes back to Susan to tell her they found the root cause. The belt tensioner is damaged and has to be replaced. The service planner says it will be around 2 hours of labor work and of course the cost of a new spare part, which is around $400. Susan calls the client to pass the information, it's a small thing so they say, just do it. It's time for planning the repair work. Service planner decides what and when will be done. Assigns also an available technician. Everything is still done on paper with some excels, etc. The work is done. Susan prepares an invoice which is then paid by the client. Simple, quick process, but you see, with lots of paperwork. This is one of many customer service processes which can take place. It's the simplest one and it's called in-house repair. In-house because it's done in our facility, in this case in Texas workshop. This process is of course supported by S4HANA service. What we will do now, we will go through the business case one more time but with a well-defined process and with support of SAP of course. Let's roll. The client noticed their car generates weird noise from the engine bay. They call the Texas workshop office. Susan, a customer service representative, picks up the phone. This time she ain't using paper but S4HANA service module. The client, Longhorn Logistics, located in Texas, provides her the contact information. At the same time, Susan creates an in-house repair, finds the Longhorn company in the system. All the customers of Texas Workshop are now inside SAP. They are so-called business partners. She selects the relevant vehicle of the client. You remember my other videos about asset management slash plan maintenance? This is so-called equipment. This time it's also linked with a product or in old terminology material number. Susan sees there is more than one equipment in Texas Workshop SAP system which belongs to Longhorn Logistics. She selects, of course, the BMW E38. At this point of time, she can also do some pre-checks, for example, if the client has a valid warranty for this asset, if there are some ongoing service contracts, or go deeper into assets details, and so on. Susan asks the client to bring the car to the workshop and saves the in-house repair. The potentially broken E38 is now in the repair area of the Texas workshop, but it does not mean the car will be repaired straight away. The service team has to perform some pre-checks, some diagnosis, and the same is reflected in SAP. Susan moves the in-house repair 
to diagnose its face. At this point of time, a service planner is able to see a new repair which requires planning. He decides the diagnosis can be done at the same time when the vehicle will be in the Texas workshop. He selects the date and also plans the work. In S4 HANA service, we don't work with operations, we use product slash material numbers for it. Like you see here, product called labor work is assigned, one hour of diagnosis gets planned. The order is released and transferred to the technician. The service technician receives the order, displays it on his mobile device. The broken BMW E38 is there. He can start the work. After 30 minutes, he found the root cause, the damaged belt tensioner. This time, he does not call anyone, he grabs his mobile phone, confirms how much time he spent for the work and adds a note what is the root cause and what should be done. The spare part should be replaced. The service planner noticed the update in the diagnosis and the notes from the service technician. He takes this input and plans the repair work, adds the necessary spare part and changes the status of the order. This time is the repair, not diagnosis anymore. This stage is also easily visible for Susan. She noticed the work is now in the repair stage. She can also update the client with this information if needed. The service technician grabs his mobile device again. He sees the new order. It's time to repair the E38, so let's do it with him. He puts the phone away and does the job. The broken belt tensioner gets dismantled, the new one gets placed. We see it's a small job, but of course requires attention to every detail. It's time to check the sound of the engine. The noise is gone. Technician grabs his phone, confirms the work, the spent time, used spare part and marks the work as completed. The order gets then checked by the service planner. We have the information about the total cost, which is formed by labor work of the technician and the cost of the spare part. The order is marked as completed. The work is done. It's also visible in the details for everyone in SAP. It's ready to be built and the invoice for the customer can be generated. And voila, in just a couple of minutes you saw what in-house repair is and how it works with S4HANA service. Of course I showed you a really simple example. However, it's more than enough to understand the process, the framework. It can be then enriched by additional steps like return orders, quotations, procurement of external services, contracts, billing details, whether it's time and material or fixed price and much more. It can be integrated with FSM, field service management, where a part is for example dismantled on the field, sent to our workshop and so on. There are lots of possibilities here. If you want to follow the journey of Texas Workshop towards s 4 hand service, subscribe to the channel and be up to date with the new videos. In the description you will find more stuff which will help you to get familiar with s 4 hana service. Share the video with your colleagues, if you enjoy the things I'm showing here, drop your feedback in the comment section and yeah, see you in another one. Cheers!